So I'm Stella Cesari and I am a postdoctoral scientist at the French National Institute for Agricultural Research. And uh, I did my PhD in the um, research unit of um, biology and genetics of plant pathogen interaction in Montpellier. And uh, after this PhD, I uh, was funded by INRA to go to do a postdoc in Australia. So I moved to Australia to work in the lab of Peter Dodds. And um, after this first uh, postdoc as an INRA scientist, I switched to a CSIRO contract as a CSIRO postdoctoral scientist. And I, I stayed in total for three years and a half in Australia before coming back and um, work with Thomas Coy in Montpellier at INRA again. What inspires my interest in plant science is that I have always been fascinated with how beautiful and diverse plants are. And uh, after high school, I actually had the opportunity to go in Germany and participate into a scientific event called um, the um, International Summer Science School at Heidelberg. And uh, this event ga is gathering students from across the world. And I decided to do a training period in a plant physiology lab. And um, during this time, I had access to all the botanical gardens of the university. And I really uh, enjoyed working in the lab. And this really motivated me to do plant research. In my field, I think that the current big questions are I work on immune resistance in plants and I work on immune receptors. And one of the big questions is how these immune receptors translate pathogen perception into resistance signaling. And we still don't know very well what are the signaling partners of these immune receptors at the very early stage after they perceive pathogen. So this is one of the fundamental questions of the field. Another question is uh, more at the structural level. So we don't know the real structure of these immune receptors and how they switch from inactive to activated form. And this is very important to better understand how they work. And the last question that is very interesting to me is are we going to be able to engineer these immune receptors to make them able to recognize more uh, pathogens or even new pathogens? And this is a fundamental question that I am addressing at the moment. So my intensely inside paper is related to plant immune receptors. And um, I wanted to highlight in this Tensley inside paper that these immune receptors are very diverse. They are diverse in their archi architecture, but also in the way they function to perceive pathogens. So these are the two highlights of the Tensley paper. So I think that uh, winning the Tensley medal uh, prize will help me not only in my research but in my career. As an early career scientist it is a wonderful highlight of what I've done in the past seven years and I think as I am currently looking for positions and applying I think it will help me immensely to establish myself as an independent scientist. I think I have uh, two types of role models. So I have life models and I have science models. So as a life models, I would say that my parents have are, people, are people that I admire and they have had a big impact uh, on the person I am today and they are doing wonderful things to help people. They are very generous, they help a school in Madagascar, they provide food and books, they are amazing. So these are my first type of role models. And uh, in science, I have two role models that I would like to thank today. So these are Thomas Croy and uh, Peter Dodds. And um, they are inspiring scientists. They are so passionate and enthusiastic about plant science. And uh, I hope I can be inspired by, the, by their, their work um, in the coming years. And um, yeah, I thank them for uh, supporting me. So if I have an advice to early career researchers, and in particular PhD students, would be to uh, read. Start reading early in your career, in your work, during your PhD, because uh, reading is important to, to know what other people are doing in, this, in the field. It's also important so that you don't make the same mistakes, you don't repeat the work that someone has already done in the past. So I think reading is critical. And uh, being organized is also critical because you have a limited time to achieve a goal, which is getting your PhD. So if you're organized, 
organized, then it will make your life much easier. So aside from science, I like to paint and draw. So I'm a pretty good painter and uh, especially portraits. So I do, I do that a lot. And also I like um, uh, taking care of my plants. I have many of them uh, at home. I like gardening and uh, I also like uh, going on walks with my partner and, and um, just seeing my friends. My favorite plant is actually, I don't have one favorite plant. I have many favorite plants. And um, so my favorite plants are, are my aloe vera, my orchids, my kaffir lime and my tilensias because these are gifts from people who are precious to me.